And now let us pray for ourselves and for the world that God loves. God of all life and every life, we offer you thanks. Thanks for all the ways that we meet you in our daily lives, in a word of encouragement, in an insight into truth, or in an answer to prayer. Thank you for a breath of calm in the midst of stress and an offer of support when we need it. Thank you for a sense of accomplishment that our work matters and for moments of rest and relaxation which renew us. Thank you for all these signs that you love us, that you understand us, and that you walk with us. Loving God, our gratitude for your love, it reminds us of the need for your mercy in the world. And so, in these moments of silence after each of these phrases, we pray to you. We pray for the world and the people and the places in the news this week. We pray for leaders facing difficult decisions and balancing different needs in complex situations. We pray for your church and for congregations facing new challenges and new opportunities for mission. We pray for our workplaces and our community, which faces so many needs and so many pressures. We pray for our family, our friends, and our neighbors, especially those facing hard choices these days. And finally, we pray for ourselves, offering to you our own concerns. Oh God, thank you for your grace that embraces all for whom we pray. In the week ahead, help us to notice your hand at work, not only in our lives, but also in this troubled world. We offer you our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn, number 670, Amazing Grace. <laughs>